Hello, Sagittarius. Hello, Sagis. Let's do a reading for you for October. Let's see what energies the universe wants to show you. What are you supposed to know? Okay. Let's see. Now, let me see your last reading. Where is it? Okay, that was not bad. Now, let's see what shows up for the month of October for you. Universe, please step in and show the sign of Sagittarius uh, energies for the month of October. What's coming up for Sagittarius, Universe? What is Sagittarius going to deal with in October? Ah, Nine of Swords. Sagittarius, you're going through a lot. A lot of stress and drama. Stress, stress. Not sleeping good. Wow. Look at this. All challenging energies. Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, uh, Knight of Swords, and Five of Wands. So you're going through a lot, Sagis. You're going through a lot. Let me do clarifiers on this row. Universe, please step in and show clarification for this row for the sign of Sagittarius for... October. Yeah, so this is romantic. But look at this. Libra um, energy showed up, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're dealing with the Libra. That's Justice card. With the King of Cups. Knight of Cups and Two of Cups. So it is romantic in nature. You've been going through a lot. Stressed out, not sleeping good, not getting along. Very challenging. So you guys are not getting along, but it is, there is true love there between the two of you. Two of Cups with the king of cups so the love is present between the two of you and it is true but the two of you are not getting along a lot of drama miscommunication sleepless nights stress worrying excessively um and when the communication does come in is very blunt can be hurtful words too Let's see more clarifiers on Sagittarius, please. Yeah, five of wands again from two different decks. So it has to do something with your loved one. Four of wands again, knight of cups and five of pentacles. So the two of you look like you are separated. Uh, or away from each other, uh, feel left out. Uh, you feel left out by them and they feel left out by you. Not communicating well. And when the communication does come in, is very uh, harsh. Mm -mm -mm. So this, there has to be a resolution to this. Let's see how this person is towards you, Sagis. And what their intentions are towards you for the month of October. Remember, this could extend towards the end of the year. Let's see. Universe, please step in and show the sign of Sagittarius. How is their love interest, their soulmate, towards Sagittarius? What are their true intentions towards Sagittarius? Um... Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, All Pentacles, what's going on? So you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, but it really could be any sign whatsoever. Um, they want to communicate with you face to face. They want to work on this. Now, it's up to you if you want to give them another chance or not. But they want to work on this connection and they want to communicate face to face, which is really good. Um, the worst way to communicate when there's drama 
is over the phone, like text messaging or emailing is the worst, very immature. That's when the most miscommunication happens. When people do stupid text messaging, when they should be talking face to face. So this person, Sagis, wants to talk to you face to face, which is the best form of communication, the most effective. Another queen of pentacles. So you're dealing with, a lot of you are dealing with an earth sign. And over here, the emperor. Let me clarify this emperor. So this person is powerful. Established, powerful person. Uh, for a lot of you, this person is far away from you right now. Far away. Mm, mm, mm. They are confused in how to handle this. They owe you an apology, Sagis. They owe you an apology. But there's a lot of confusion, misunderstandings uh, on both sides. You're not communicating effectively. They're far away from you in a lot of... Yeah, they're far away from you. Six of Swords, the World, and the Chariot. Mm -mm -mm. So they have a lot on their mind, and they're not sure where this is heading. Let's see. Their true feelings towards you. Universe, please step in and show Sagittarius... Soulmates, love interest, true feelings towards Sagittarius. Nine of Cups. That's beautiful. Eight, <laughs> eight, of, eight of Wands upside down. They want to communicate, but they're not communicating. It's like you guys not communicating effectively. Again, for the third time, Queen of Pentacles. And King of Cups. So, Sagis, this person truly does love you. But there is problem with communication. Upside down, Eight of Wands. So, you guys need to find a better way of communicating together with each other. Yeah. Clear communication needs to happen for this to be resolved. Otherwise, you just gonna be bye-bye mm -hmm. there has to be clear communication on both sides <clears throat> again king of cups so this person does love you genuinely does love you wants to see you and communicate clearly uh honestly objectively mm -hmm. they far away from you for now virgo energy showing up <clears throat> but that doesn't mean you have to deal with a virgo So, they feel withdrawn like a hermit right now. Um, Sagis, they are not releasing you from their heart. So, they are holding on to you. No matter what the problems are and were in the past and still are, they're not releasing you. This is good. This is beautiful. So the two of you are soulmates from other lifetimes with the temperance card. A lot of passion between the two of you. Seven of Pentacles and Empress. <clears throat> so, Sagis, this person sees you as this beautiful divine energy person who has high standards, integrity. And this, they want to, they want to find a, a common ground here and, and put everything behind them, all the difficulties, problems, heartache, whatever. They want to put it behind them. So this connection you've been dealing with, Sagis, has been very challenging for the Six of Swords to show up. It's been very challenging for you. Emotionally draining, heartbreaking too. I want to see the 
Um, let's see. Let's ask for the binding energy between the two of you for this month. But I'm feeling also it's going to extend to the end of the year. Universe, please step in and sh show uh, Sagittarius binding energies between Sagittarius and their soulmate, their loved one. For the month of October, binding energies between Sagittarius and their love interest for the month of October. Again, very challenging. A lot of miscommunication, disagreements. Five of Wands. You guys are going to have to communicate effectively if this is to be workable. Three of Wands. Yeah, again, a lot of stress. Again, Nine of Swords with Five of Wands. And the Tower. So, guys, if you don't settle this uh, somehow, the universe will have to do it for you. Because it's very unhealthy, toxic connection right now. Even though you have beautiful soul connection, the way it's going right now, it's very toxic and very unhealthy to both of you. So let's see, universe, please clarify. First of all, let's clarify this nine of swords, the sun. Oh, Overanalyzing, worried excessively. But this has potential of totally being on the right track again with the sun card, the best card in the entire deck. Uh, but they telling you, the universe is telling you, Sagis, Stop worrying so much excessively and overanalyzing because you're sabotaging yourself. You're paralyzed with fear. You don't know what to do when you're feeling this way. Now, I want to clarify this tower card, which is significant. Usually, tower is very good and necessary. That means there's something very wrong in your life that needs to be settled by the universe the universe is going to have to get involved and break something up for your own good for your soul's higher learning universe please step in and clarify this tower card for sagittarius eight of pentacles that's good four of cups yeah so this person saggy is a dear um, soulmate of yours from other lifetimes with the with the lover's card. This also could represent a Gemini, but doesn't have to. So this person wants to talk to you. Uh, the King of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. So Sagis, this person wants to talk to you and work on this. They don't. They don't want to give up. They they invested a lot of feelings in this, and if they made mistakes, they want to correct them. Mm -hmm. Let's see advice. Advice. You know what? Did we ask their um? What they want to do. I don't think. Let me see. Universe. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? What are their true long-term intentions towards Sagittarius? Ten of Swords. They are exhausted. They want to end the conflict. Yeah. So they are really spiritually going within and analyzing, assessing this whole connection and what has happened to see how to deal with it. Beautiful. So they do have very good intentions towards you. The best card in the entire deck showed up, the sun card. They're very sad, regretful. They regret what they have done or said. Um, they are not happy about it. Um, yeah, they're very sad. They want to correct this. They want to work on this. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they want reconciliation with the judgment card. So not only do they want to reappear in your life, they want to put solid work into this connection and stay in your life. 
on good terms. Yeah, this person truly does love you. So if they messed up even in a bad way, they are regretting it. They are regretting it deeply. And they still love you. The Queen of Cups showed up. So this person is in love with you. Yeah, so look at this. They showed up as Emperor here. Very strong. Yeah, grounded energy. Sometimes the Emperor, when the Emperor card shows up, it scares me because it can be either way. It can be very violent, aggressive, arrogant energy, or it can be totally opposite. So thank God I'm relieved to see that this showed up as very grounded person learning from their mistakes, taking responsibility for their mistakes and wanting to correct them. That's beautiful. They have very good intentions, solid intentions towards you, Sagis. Yeah, the world. Yes, they scared of, they scared of getting rejected. Very scared of getting rejected. They see you as this powerful beautiful energy powerful independent that's your fire energy right here with the queen of wands justice so they want to do right by you they want to correct their mistakes yeah they want to do right by you mm -hmm. very good intentions they want to come in swiftly and honestly tell you what they want what they feel but be careful with that kind of energy because this sometimes if they lose their temper, they could come across as rude and blunt. But let me see. Let me clarify with another deck. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Uh, Sagis, significant other towards Sagis. Strength card. Very good. So some of you are dealing with another fire sign. So this is not bad. Oh, yeah. So they see you as marriage material. Some of you are already married to this person with the Hierophant card, Hermit card. So some of you, Sagis, are dealing with the Leo. I'm sorry, Leo. Yes, Leo. Another fire sign, Leo, Sagi, or um, Aries, and also Virgo showed up. Yeah, this person most definitely wants to reconcile with you. Showed up twice. This person is hoping, is hoping that the two of you will reconcile seriously because this person still loves you a lot. This person loves you a lot. And they're very sad by how things happened. Regretful, sad, want to make up to you. Um, and uh, correct their uh, behavior, their mistakes, whatever it is they did wrong, they want to correct it. And they want to reconcile to be able to stay in your life. Mm -hmm. So that's their true intentions. Look at this. This just fell out. They are worried, sick about this. Uh, to a point where they don't sleep good. They're so worried excessively about this. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. On the bottom, three of wands. So they are thinking how to approach this. Yeah. They're going through a lot of emotional turmoil inside. Let's see. Advice for you from the universe. Universe, please step in and show advice. For the sign of Sagittarius. Please show advice for the sign of Sagittarius. This is beautiful. Healing and patience. So the universe is asking you to be patient with yourself. Uh, whatever decisions you want to make, you have the right to make them. You have free will to make them. Uh, be patient with yourself. Healing. This is beautiful. Universal support with the temperance card. The tower card. We're going to clarify that. Universe, please show more messages. Advice from you for Sagittarius. 
Again, Knight of Swords. So this person, again, the Emperor showed up. So this person is very serious about re-entering your life. They want to be very honest with you. Very honest. No sneaking around. No lies. No mind games. No deception. Yeah, this person loves you dearly and they are your soulmate from other lifetimes. Yes. I have a lot of passion for you. Love and passion. But you guys are not talking. There's no there's no contact. But they want to reconnect with you and tell you how they feel and what they want. They have uh, very good intentions of being honest. I want to clarify this tower card. Universe, please clarify this tower card. Three of cups, eight of swords. So they are very scared of, even though they're brave and strong, they're very scared of uh, messing up, saying something wrong. Um, they don't want to make a mistake. They want to make sure they come in. They have very good intentions towards you. Solid energy, grounded energy, king of pentacles with knight of pentacles. So their intention is to be very grounded, solid, stable, and come in very slowly with very stable, grounded energy. So you know that they mean business. Mm-hmm. Let's see more messages for Sagittarius, please. Universe, please step in and show more messages for the sign of Sagittarius for October. This person loves you a lot. This person is in love with you. King of Cups. Yeah, they see you as this grounded energy. Uh like a like a earth sign even though you are a, a fire sign they see you as this very mature balanced grounded individual independent individual capable of supporting herself her himself yeah they want reconciliation so badly they want to come back and stay in your life seven of Pentacles, so they waiting to see for when the best time would be for them to try to re-enter or talk to you or communicate or tell you how they feel. Yeah, so they, yeah, they. This person loves you a lot. Here is two of cups, soulmate energy, soulmate love from other lifetimes with the king of cups. So this person loves you a lot. So the universe wants you to know. How this person still feels towards you and what their true intentions are. They worried sick again, again. I don't know how many times they showed up already in this reading. Nine of Swords. So they are so worried about this connection because they care about you. Um, they're not sleeping. they stressed out to the max. Yeah, look at this, the devil card. they obsessed with it. They want to correct it. Let me pull a card on the devil, please, universe. Let's pull the card on the devil. Aha. Uh -huh. So they're very curious on how you're doing. They're stressed out like crazy. They're very curious how you're doing, Saji. Yeah, keeping tabs on you. Very interested in how you're doing. Stressed out to the max with Ten of Swords. <sighs> Very toxic energy. Um, yeah, let me see. Are they going to be okay? Let's see. Universe, will the other person be okay? The person that loves Sagittarius, will they be okay? The tower card. So they learning some valuable lessons from whatever mistakes they made in this connection, in this relationship. They are the universe kicked their butt because they had to. 
and they learning some valuable lessons about themselves and relationships. Mm -hmm. They're scared of rejection. Yeah. They, they're going to be okay, but they're learning the hard way. Yeah, look at this. Three of Swords, the worst card in the whole deck. In a traditional deck, this is depicted as a heart being stabbed by three swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So they will recover from this. They want to communicate so badly with you. They want communication. So communication will come. Yeah. You guys will be communicating again. Let's see. One last message for Sagittarius, please. Universe, please step in. Show... Um, so this just wanted to flip over and on the bottom is your energy, the queen of wands with two of swords. So the universe is advising you, make up your mind what you want to do. Don't be, uh, indecisive too much. Don't waste your energy being indecisive. Listen to your instinct. Listen to your instinct. More, more, one more message for Sagis, please, universe. One more message for Sagis. Ten of Pentacles. That's beautiful. Beautiful grounded energy. Yeah, healing is coming to you. The star card. Yes, more healing. Six of Swords. Ten of Wands. Be very careful being very stressed out because it's going to affect your health in a negative way physically if you don't get rid of the stress on a regular basis you have a lot of stress stored in your body and if you don't release it whether it's yoga meditation sea salt bath prayer whatever being in nature whatever if you don't release it on a regular basis this stored energy is going to manifest physical illness in your body so you need to release this, please. Yeah. Yeah, healing is coming. Healing is coming. Four of Swords with Six of Swords and the Star card. Beautiful. So you have a lot of mis uh, confusion. You feel confused about things and how they transpired. So you should definitely communicate with this individual, even if you don't want to be with them. Um, you should resolve this for your own sake, so you can move on in a healthy way. Even if do you decide not to be with this person, try to talk to them if they reach out to you and they want to. Resolve this for your own good, so you can move on with your life and... When you talk to them face to face is the best way, resolving any disputes and disagreements. When you talk to them, then decide if they really worthy of you or not. If they if you feel they are, then you can be in their life. If not, you can just say goodbye to them. But try to resolve this. Don't have this hanging over you because that's gonna affect your future relationships if left unhealed. Yeah, so don't leave it hanging like that in the air for God knows how long, okay? So do right by yourself, mm -hmm. to yourself. Be good to yourself. Be just to yourself. Mm -hmm. So, Sagis, thank you so much for watching. And if you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me by my email. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Thank you.